In the last three videos, we talked about training effect, training status, and training load. Three key metrics to help you train smarter, but without proper heart rate settings, your training results might not be as accurate. So let's walk through how to set up your heart rate zones. Your watch offers four ways to define training intensity using heart rate. Heart rate in BPM, percent max HR, percent HRR, and percent LTHR. If your training plan uses heart rate zones to guide intensity, you can choose any of the three heart rate methods. If you know your max heart rate and test it occasionally, then percent max HR might be the best choice. If you regularly track both resting and max heart rate, consider using percent HRR, heart rate reserve. If you have access to equipment that measures lactate threshold heart rate and you test it regularly, then percent LTHR could be a great option. Running heart rate zones are split into five levels. The harder you train, the higher the zone your heart rate will hit. Your watch calculates this so you'll know if your workout intensity is on target. By default, zone 1 is set to 50% to 60%. Let's say you're using percent max HR, and your max heart rate is 180 BPM. Then zone 1 would be 90 to 108 BPM, which is your warm-up zone. If you want to boost your anaerobic training load, your workout needs to push your heart rate into zone 5. That's 162 to 180 BPM. If you've done more research or want finer control, you can manually adjust the percentages for each zone. Setting unrealistic percentages may affect how your watch tracks your training effectiveness. For example, if you set zone 1 to 50% to 96%, then no matter how hard you run, your watch will still label it as low-intensity aerobic training. With the three key metrics and proper heart rate setup, you'll have a much clearer picture of your fitness and training progress.